Hello faithful viewers, welcome back to another review. We are once again looking at a couple of Action Man figures just in an effort to get these done and out of the way for my purposes really. And this time we are looking at two more villains. On the right we have a bloke called Antifreeze. That's a very on the nose name. And on the left, we have Tempest. They are both, as I said, villains of the Action Man franchise. Lesser known ones, I think, especially Antifreeze. Tempest, on the other hand, if anybody glossed over the CGI Action Man TV series from the early 2000s, they might be a little bit more familiar with him. Um, but they are still pretty obscure villains, I think. When you think of villains of that franchise, you obviously think of Dr. X, you think of Gangrene. If you like me and you join towards the end of it, then you probably think of No Face. These two are a little bit more, who are they? Sort of thing. Um, now, trying to research things about these toys is a pain in the ass, especially the Action Man Wiki doesn't tell me anything of value regarding these. For clear context, I got these two as I did a lot of the Action Man stuff over the years, at a car boot sale. So you could expect their overall condition to be a little bit footloose, um, and naturally they are missing some accessories. So I can't give you a proper review in terms of, this is the figure, this is absolutely everything they've got, go wild. I can just kind of give an approximation of what I've got before me, based on no proper knowledge of them whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I collected the Action Man comics back in the day. I've got a couple of issues with these guys in them. I certainly got one with Antifreeze. I don't know if I've got one with Tempest in it. I'd have to have a look. But either way, double review time. Let's just get these guys out of the way. Now, we will start with Tempest, I suppose. Let's get the blue boy out of the way and let's focus on this Electro knockoff. There's me in the background. Hello! Uh, right, Tempest here. Like I said, an Electro knockoff. It, like, it's the best thing to compare him to is Electro in Spider-Man. He is a yellow, a blue, a black boy uh, that can shoot lightning, which I suppose. I've, I mean, I'm having a look just off camera at a version of this figure, Mint in Package, and I'm actually looking at a variant of this figure who doesn't have blue skin, who has actually normal human skin. Um, I suppose this figure is meant to simulate him powered up, zapped with electricity, glowing, I guess. Um, but the, the picture that I'm just drawing here shows him, and you obviously can't see it because it's not in focus, but it shows him... Min he doesn't stand up, as you can probably tell. Um, mint in package here. He apparently comes with some like staff accessories that have projectiles in the ends of them. Obviously, my guy doesn't have that. And he doesn't have a sense of stability either, clearly. So, blue skin, crazy hair, skull-like tattoos all over him, ribcage showing... Blue in the original version, the proof cage tattoo. Uh, hard plastic, upper body. You've got like this black ripped shirt aesthetic going on. Um, again, like No Way Home Electro kind of sort of stuff here with not gears, but readings for electricity levels. You've got gauntlets, uh, static hands, and you've got cloth goods. Along the bottom here uh, for actual trousers that you could take off if you really want to. And rubber yellow boots that are quite loose around his feet, to be honest. Size-wise, they're both extremely big. We've covered it before in terms of the Cyberman reviews and the Doctor X reviews, so you have an idea of how big these guys are. Um, we'll quickly gloss over articulation now, because why not? You can see on the neck, there is a joint here, which would suggest you could turn his head. Don't do it. For the love of God, don't do it. Because I think the way that the plastic is sculpted, that you can see he's got like these veins popping out here. They will smash against the top collar. Something will break. I tried twisting it earlier. I heard an awful cracking sound. 
Uh, there doesn't appear to be any damage done, but still, for the love of God, don't turn his head more than more than that, because you might regret it. In terms of arm articulation, oh, listen to that squeak though. Yikes. All the way round, and that's literally it. There's no elbow, there is no hand, no wrist, no nothing else. Just just that. Uh, he can spread his legs only that far. They are hindered due to the fabric used for the cargo pants. Uh, nothing at the waist. He can kick a good amount, I suppose. He can kick back only yay far, but again, hindered because of the fabric. He has a good bend at the knee. And then his feet... Can I take his boot off? I'm worried if I take his boot off, I might not be able to get it back on. You can see there, there is a joint. So there's up and down movement and there is a bit of... Well, no, there isn't tilt. That's just... That's just the, the rubber boot being loose, giving the illusion of tilt. So, yeah, that's Tempest. It's fine, but it's nothing to write home about. Limited articulation on the upper body makes that uh, a bit disappointing, but it's all right. So antifreeze here. What can I find out quickly about this guy? So this is the original product shot of him in package, squatting like a weirdo. Uh, he apparently did come with a staff himself, just a handheld accessory. Maybe came with a little comic book. I don't know, but... The main gimmick with Mr. Popsicle over here is he has a button on his belt and apparently that's meant to squirt some green liquid around his torso. Antifreeze, if you will. Uh, but again, having brought this at a car boot, naturally second hand, whatever that gook was has completely dried up and does not go around. I theorised before researching whether it was a pump action water feature so if you could fill him up with water and you can pump it and it would go around his torso because i've had some figures in the past where that is the case i've got a little uh, marvel scorpion figure where you can fill up his tail with water there's a pump on it and you can shoot it that still works um but apparently not i don't know what the green goop was meant to be inside of him you can see the remnants of it uh, Antifreeze, detail wise, he has a spiky mohawk thing going on here. Uh, it is softish rubber, you can squelch it about. Don't do it too much, you might break it off, but it's still quite sharp. You know, it's not soft, soft. Sure, it's malleable, but ow, you might literally duff yourself on that. Uh, he has a very frowny face. <laughs> the black along here is meant to like simulate like a goatee kind of thing. I can't honestly tell you. Maybe it's just black for the sake of detailing. If it didn't have black, it would be quite bland. Uh, he has a, uh, I suppose you can call that a tattoo of his initials embedded inside his chest on the, uh, the sack, the sack of green crap that's meant to be in his chest. Um, translucent blue plastic for the entirety of his uh, body. And that feels a bit sticky like the Dr. X arm. I wonder if the stickiness came from him. <laughs> um, yeah, I, mm, uh, there's no cloth goods on him. He's just hard plastic all over. Uh, you can see some detailing of ice spikes protruding from his trousers there. The belt has nice detail, I suppose. Coming down to the bottom, uh, cool ass boots, I will say, like silver tops on them, silver undersides, all these buckles going on here. The detailing on his footwear, really good. And briefly, if we have a look at his back, there's detailing of, um, what would you call them? Flesh? flesh folds where his muscles and all of that would be so he is he is very good for detailing they are both very good for detailing but in terms of articulation uh, antifreeze head can go all the way around uh that's it same with tempest on the arms around there and that's it he has nothing on the waist like tempest he has a beautiful spread not restricted by any cloth 
he can bend his knee like that, he can kick up that far majestically, that far back, kind of turns into a look, uh, a side split really, uh, and then at the end, core up and down. He stands a lot better than Tempest though. I don't know, I, would, I guess I'd say it's rubber boots that let that guy down. So there we are then, that's a very quick review of these two, just something to get out of the way before I attempt to move them on. If anybody is an Action Man collector and would be interested in obtaining these for their own personal collections, you can try and get in touch with me by leaving a comment or I will probably attempt to put them on eBay first. If you find them on eBay at the time of viewing this video, well done, you've got there in time. Um, but if you find them on there and you're interested in getting them for yourself, leave a comment, get in contact, we'll try and figure something out. But anyway, uh, that's Tempest and Antifreeze, I suppose. They're fine. They're, I mean, like figures this big, they're an acquired taste, I suppose. And especially Action Man is kind of like a niche property now. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, just looking at Tempest, yeah, I said that he's meant to come with a staff. You can see there's a, this thing on his back here, which would have been storage for his weaponry. Well, there you go. That's a bit surprising. Completely neglected to mention that, but whatever. Whatever. Not the end of the world. They're fine figures. They're niche. They're obscure characters. If you're a completionist, get them. If not, you're not necessarily missing out on much, but they look cool. I can't deny that. They look cool. You know, you you look at somebody's collection, you see them on the shelf and you're going to go, whoa, the hell is that thing? It's an electric guy. It's an electro. It's a, it's a blue guy. Is that, is that Mr. Freeze from Batman? You'd be wrong on both occasions, but you'd be forgiven for thinking that. There you go. That's those two. What a weird review this is. Thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and share it around to help out the channel. And until the next time, I suppose, see you later.